Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. So far in Bootstrap, this is where we got up to. So we have a single page layout with some uh, containers. And each container has a different background. So you can see I have three containers. And the third container well, was a bit of a screw up really because the background's white and the text color is white as well. So I have to change that. But um, basically, the cool thing about Bootstrap is it doesn't matter if you're viewing this on a desktop or on a phone. For example, if I um, change the uh, width of it, right, you can see the text automatically wraps around the border. And you can also simulate what this looks like on a phone by pressing F12 and then choosing Galaxy S5 and that will show you what it looks like on a on a uh, mobile device so Galaxy S5 right this is what your website will look like on mobile okay so yeah we're obviously going to keep customizing this to make it a bit better so let's firstly look at this picture here now the picture is a bit big and let's look at some things we can do with a picture in Bootstrap. So if you guys go to getbootstrap.com, okay, you can basically look up all the things that Bootstrap can do um, under CSS and components. So let's go to the CSS and look under um, images okay so look under images and you can see that um, we can change the shape of the image by just going class equals image rounded and that will make the picture round okay so let's try that so let's try putting in class equals image circle will make it um will make the picture circular or rounded will just make the edges rounded so let's try rounded first save it preview it so actually let's just get the website up so press f12 to preview it and you can see what is the difference between this picture and this picture is that the corners are rounded in the top one okay so that's what image rounded does but if you don't want that you can change it to image um, the circle responsive so let's try circle all right let's see what it looks like again and now it's a circle so that's pretty cool now look what happens to the picture when I reduce the width of my website is the picture doesn't really change its width right you can see a bit of the picture being cut out so what I'm gonna add is a additional class so rather than it just being the circle I'm gonna add in image responsive and hopefully what that will do is it'll shrink the picture when my frame gets too small okay you can see the last bit it starts shrinking so image responsive is a very useful class but you can see as soon as I change it to image responsive okay it's not in the center anymore that's because text center only centers the text so in order to make the image center you need to put in um, image oh sorry you need to put in center block okay so if you try that now the picture will be centered as well. Uh, hang on a second. 
Okay, I'm gonna try put this center block within the image tag and hope that fixes the problem. So put center block center block inside the class property and test it out again. And this time it fixes it. Okay, so the center block needs to be within the image tag itself if you want to center the picture. Now another thing that we obviously have to fix is that the background color of my third um, my third what do I call it container all right this container down the bottom okay can't see the text so the reason for that is because I accidentally put a symbol here that I need to delete so delete that hash symbol and then try to look at it again and now you can see that the third um, div is now working but you can see this circle is actually my logo is touching the second um, container and this picture is touching the third container so that's not very good so in order to change that what I'm gonna add in the styling in the style sheet is I want to add a style for container fluid for the container fluid class which is basically the class of my three divs my three sections I want to add in padding top equals um, something so let's say 30 pixels and padding bottom is 30 pixels so when you're talking about the padding so let's have a look it's basically the space between the contents and the border of your div of your section so I've added in 30 pixels here and then I've added in 30 pixels here 30 pixels here so that's basically what happened so to finish off let's create a link to another website using a button so in the third section here I'm gonna say my YouTube as the heading and I'm gonna say this is uh, this button is a link to my YouTube channel try clicking on it all right and then I'm gonna get rid of the picture I'm gonna use the code for creating a hyperlink which you guys should know already um, all right so that's my YouTube link and then so if I go to if I say YouTube go to YouTube all right and then if I just show you what it looks like first so if you press F12 it says my YouTube this button is a link to go to my YouTube if you click on it it goes to my YouTube so that's cool but cool thing about bootstrap is I can add a button class so class equals button all right and let's just see what happens if I view the website okay nothing happens because you haven't said you've said it's a button but you haven't said what sort of button is it so let's look up some possible buttons so on getbootstrap.com it says that I have all these types of buttons so I've got button default which looks like this so and then I've got button primary which looks like that a blue color so yeah lots of uh, lots of choices let's just do info which is button info so let's put that in here class is button and then button info alright so let's see what that looks like 
So now I got a go to YouTube button. Okay, it even changes color when you hover your mouse over it. Click on it, it goes to YouTube. Okay, so that's I guess the end of this lesson is just changing some buttons and changing the what pictures look like. Okay, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.